sitting here with Harley Johnson, more commonly known as a uh, Durian Rider. <laughs> so, we're here at Doug's Health and Fitness Week, and we mentioned something earlier about your uh, VO2 Max. Yeah. You want to talk about that again? So VO2 Max is the body's ability to uh, uptake uh, uptake oxygen and put it into your cells. Why would that be important? The more oxygen you get to your cells, the better you can perform, the better you can think. That's why a lot of uh, cyclists use blood doping. So you have more red blood cells, you can get more oxygen into your system and get them to your cells and energy goes up. Or well, they use EPO which increases red blood cell count and that increases oxygen uptake. So things like that. So I mean it's, just, it's just oxygen. Breathing's life. No, not, if you don't breathe enough then... I guess the analogy would be like trying to run and just breathe through your nose. You can only do that so far, but if you can breathe through your mouth as well, you can get more oxygen in. So that's why VO2 max and having it higher is uh, is better for performance. That certainly seems to make sense. So we touched on something though that you seem to have raised your VO2 max, mm -hmm. and this is supposedly very uncommon or it's, perhaps even unheard of. Well, people who raise their blood, their uh, VO2 max generally is indication of EPO use or blood doping, two illegal practices in cycling and running. I've talked to some professors about it and, and they didn't want to know. They they did sort of a bit skeptical. And I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah, your fellow professors actually did the study. They did they did my VO2 maxes and I, I attributed that to dietary changes. But they didn't want to know about that. And I, when I asked why, they're like, well, Harley, we didn't get sponsored by the banana industry or the tofu industry. We get sponsored by the meat and dairy industry. They directly sponsor any university. So for us to do study on a vegan or plant-based diet, would go against our sponsors' requirements, so we we don't really bother with that. But if you can get us a sponsorship to do the study, we're we're more than willing. But so far, <laughs> you know, there's not much money in the sort of that industry. So we can see the importance as far as oxygen. What other what's uh what's another main reason for doing this diet or for pursuing this lifestyle to this? Ex just feeling good, feeling good. Like just before, I had a three-hour sleep nap on the trampolines over there in the sun, and it just felt like, just felt bliss. You get in, you get in touch with your body's requirements when you don't have all the animal adrenaline in your system, or you're jacked up on coffee or caffeine or cacao, or whatever. You're not, you're not jacked up on stimulants and animal adrenaline all the time. You get more of a feeling what your body needs. So my main reason I eat this way is is to feel good, to feel good in the moment. And I've tried all the other little programs and things, but this one that makes the most sense to me, and it leaves me feeling the, the most vitality and vigor and participation in my daily reality. I get a greater participation in my daily reality on this lifestyle. And it's good. I like to be able to be in control so I can always feel good. I mean, I like to be able to know 100% I can run up this big mountain up here. I can run from here to the top of that mountain and back down, as long as the bears don't eat me. Same day. So, uh, yeah, easy the same day. And, and that feels good being able to do that. When I used to have chronic fatigue, when waking up and getting out of bed and going to work at the shoe store was a challenge for me sometimes. And now I can just run up any mountain I want. It's just, yeah, that's, that's what I call, you know, fun. That's, that's another motivation for living this lifestyle. A little bit of motivation for others too is uh, what would be the opposite of having a high level of VO2 max? be low level would be what you see walking around the street in, in your local town. It would be people you know, gasping to walk for breath just to walk up some stairs or gasping for breath just to you know, catch your children or gasping for breath just doing basic things. But say I'm not an athlete and I don't really need a high level of VO2 max. What's really the danger of having low oxygen levels? Well, it's bad for your cells. I mean, we know cancer cells can only live in an environment with low oxygen. So the higher oxygen you got, that's what we're looking for. That's why low-fat diets are always better. That's why vegan, low-fat, high-carbohydrate diets are better. That's why low-fat, high-carb, raw vegan diets are best. Because they allow better oxygen transfer uptake delivery to your cells. So in terms of cancer prevention or cancer reversal, that's what we want. We want a high oxygen versus a low oxygen environment. So VO2 max increasing that, definitely a fan of it. Not through blood doping, not through EPO though. Definitely not. So people often say, I'm not an athlete, Harley, I'm like, but life is sport. Life is hectic enough. If you're not an athlete in life, you're on the, side, you're on the bench, you're on the side bench. Everyone's got children or work or relationships. These all require a lot of energy. And, the, and that's, 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 that's athleticism. If you get up every day and you work at something, 
whether it be you know, a, a, a recreational sport or your family or your garden or whatever, you're an athlete. So high VO2 max is what we want. And it's not about you know overtraining yourself or becoming like a maniac. It's just about moving your body, having fun, playing and eating right and getting lots of sleep and eating a whack load of carbohydrates every day. So being active isn't a chore. Because most people think of activity, they're like, oh my god, I can't do that. Because they're so under carb, they're so low in carbohydrates, they've got the under carb coma they're into. And once you get some carbs into them, some fruit especially, then they're like, they start to snap up a bit, especially a few days of fruit or a few weeks of fruit and early nights and hydration, things start to change. And all of a sudden the person who dreads exercise now has goes, I have to exercise, I have to move my body, I have to play with my kids, I have to ride my bike to work, or I have to run up the stairs past my co colleagues at work just to have fun, because I always feel like I'm missing out. So that's, uh, that's the importance of having fun and having a high VO2 max, in my opinion. I'm an athlete for life, I'm not an athlete for the next five years. Doing drugs, eating shit, burning myself out, oh, that's not for me, I'm an athlete for life because life is sport. And if you're not fit for it, then you're on the side bench. You're missing out. I do not want to miss out in life. I want to experience life every day. And that's why I eat, drink, and sleep so much. Just so I can, when I'm conscious and walking around, I can be part of it. I can give versus just be, you know, just, just, just flailing, floundering. Life is sport. Life is sport, man. 100%. <laughs>